Hello guys, welcome to the new episode. Today we are just continuing our part in the flashlight system. So the thing that we need to do today is uh, we already created the flashlight that works perfectly. We can turn it on and off. We also created battery system and we added battery HUD. So you can see we have a battery and now we don't have any more and we cannot turn it on again. So now our player lost his battery, but we need to get him some way to gain it back, right? So what we can do is we can create pickups. So we're gonna go into third person blueprint, third person character, depending where you put this. So under this, we're gonna create a new event and it's gonna be called event. We can call it battery pickup. And from it, we can just get our battery. We can uh, add. And uh, the amount we want to add, so we can either add fixed amount. So let's say we want to give our player 20 battery and max is 100. So this all depends how much you want pickup to be. But also what you can do is you can randomize the amount. So we can go random integer in range. And now we can select what amount we want. So from, let's say we want to give him from 16 all the way to 28. And after that, we're gonna set our battery. And we're gonna plug it in. And also we're gonna create max battery. So in case you want to increase the battery and make sure to put it as integer. So make sure uh, you have this uh, on integer and after that uh, We will just pull the max battery. We'll get max battery and we're gonna select greater or equal And we're gonna pull the branch from it I'm gonna select this make sure you connect all of this so if we pick up the battery and our battery is greater or equal to the 100 our max battery which is 100 if we compile we can set it to 100 so now if we have battery and we pick it up and our number is more than 100 or equal we will just set the battery amount sorry set the battery amount to be our max battery because he reached the maximum right and uh, if the player has less than 100 after he picks up, then we won't do anything. We're just going to add it to him his inventory. Okay, so we have this event done. We can go complete. But now we need to create actor that's going to act like a pickup. So we go to the pickups. We create folder pickups. I already created it. We create a blueprint class. We call it BP battery pickup we open it we will add static mesh and we will add the box collision to our mesh and here what I did was I already found the battery that works perfectly so we can just take this battery you can download it make sure to download it as FBX I already download it so what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna open the download and I'm just gonna pull it to my desktop. Oh, I already did actually. So when you get it here, you just extract, you get the source and from the source you will have this inside. You can just take it out, you can do whatever you want. And let's go back to the Unreal Engine. So we're just gonna, we can create it's a new folder, let's call it props. So we just have it um, all in the one place. Battery. Because when you extract the materials, it becomes a little bit messy, you will see. You can close this. So you see this pack has a lot of materials. And now that we have this, we can select it. You see it looks really good. We will, of course, size it down. But once you select it, you can go back to the battery pickup 
select static mesh and select the arrow. And now we can scale it down a little bit because this is obviously too big. You can scale it as much you want and of course you can take your own model. And we have our box collision. Let me just see. Hmm. We'll add it again, I guess. Box collision. Okay, so we have our box collision here. We can size it as much as we want. So in this, in this uh, area, when the player comes close to the battery, he's gonna be able to pick it up, right? So how how are we gonna do that? Is we will go to the, we will select the box collision. Go to the event graph of our blueprint battery pickup. We're gonna add the function for it. Add event, sorry. And we're gonna add on component begin overlap. And from the other actor, we're gonna put cast to third person character. And the reason we are casting here is that we need to get our event that we created, battery pickup. So as a BP third person character, we're just gonna call the event battery pickup. Perfect. So when the player overlaps with our collision that we made here, when he overlaps, we want to destroy this actor so a player cannot overlap multiple times, right? So what we want to do is we're just gonna destroy our actor. And also what we can do is we can play a little sound on the pickup. So we can play sound 2D. And on this package I don't have a lot of sound, so I'm just gonna use the flashlight sound effect. It's okay. And after that we just wanna destroy our actor. So when we compile, this should work perfectly. We need to of course put our uh, our BP battery pickup. We need to put it in our world. So we're gonna go to the BP battery pickup and we're gonna put it like this. Of course you can lower the collision, you can do whatever you want with it, you can play with it. I'm gonna put like this. So when we hit play now, we have the battery pickups, right? We open our flashlight, it works perfectly. Oh, we run out of the flashlight. We get the pickup, we play the little sound that we set. You can set whatever sound you want. And we have battery again. So it works perfectly. And um, that's it for today. I really like it and uh, see you in the next one.